Welcome to your student navigation and dashboard tutorial. In this video, we'll guide you through the key features of your landing page, designed to help you manage your didactic and placement activities efficiently. Once your program invites you to the system, you'll receive an email notification. The communication will include a link for you to activate your account along with the username set up by your school. You'll simply click on the provided link to activate your account. We offer two login options, standard and single sign-on accounts. Standard accounts use a standard login process where you provide your username and password every time you log in. For standard accounts, you'll be prompted to set up a new password following a few guidelines. Remember, your password is important, as you'll need it every time you log in. Once you've set up your password, click Submit. The system will notify you after your password is successfully set up. Then, head over to login.exat.com, enter your unique username along with your newly created password, and click on Login. You'll then need to accept Exat's privacy policy and terms of use. Feel free to click on the links to view the full details. By accepting, you acknowledge your program has consent to share your personal information as needed with the sites. Once you accept, you'll be logged into your account. Single sign-on is a user authentication method that allows users to log into multiple applications and websites using one set of credentials. Accounts using SSO verification verify your identity outside of the Exat system to sign you in and provide you access to the system. For single sign-on accounts, click on the link in the email and you'll be prompted to activate your account. Enter your school's email address. You will then be taken to your school's login page. Log into your school portal and you will be redirected to the Exat site. You'll then need to accept Exat's privacy policy and terms of use. Feel free to click on the links to view the full details. By accepting, you acknowledge your program has consent to share your personal information with sites. Once you accept, you'll be logged into your account. Now that you have successfully activated your Exat account, let's get familiar with the system. The dashboard is your main hub to access all sections of the Exat Prism system. On the left of the page, you'll find your profile, attestations, and important announcements. The center of the dashboard displays your placement information as well as your coursework section, and on the right of the page, you can track your compliance status as well as important pre-placement tasks. The bottom part of your dashboard houses shortcuts to the School Provided Resources section, the Explore Clinical Locations page, and the School Contact Information section. In case you need any help, you can utilize Exat's Learning Hub to gain access to video tutorials such as this one as well as detailed guides on how to make the best use of the system. To access Exat's Learning Hub, click on the Exat Prism Learning Hub button. Click on the School Resources tile to access helpful resources that your school has provided to you. Click on the Explore Clinical Locations section to view the placement locations which have partnered with your school. Click on the School Contact section. You will be taken to a page listing all the faculty who have enabled their contact information to be shown. In the School Contact section, you can see faculty and staff members' names, their position or positions, email addresses, phone numbers, and any notes they have left for you. You can raise a support ticket with our support team by clicking on the Get Support button. You can also raise a support ticket by clicking on the question icon on the banner at the top of the page. Select the type of query you would like to pose, then enter a title and description for the ticket. You can also attach a related file to the ticket if necessary. If you would like to attach a related file, check the supported file types and size limits below then click on the Browse to Upload button and select your document to upload. For additional assistance, you can access our tutorial hosting channel or our help center using these two buttons. Be sure to click the Submit Your Ticket button once you are done. For urgent support email prism-support at exat.com. If you prefer real-time chat, our support team is available to you via our chat feature. Just click on the chat button located at the top banner of the page or click on the chat with agents button at the bottom of the page. A window will open for you to chat with our live support team. We also offer on-demand support through our integrated AI chatbot, Leo. To ask Leo a question, click on the Ask Leo button on the top banner of the page or on the bottom of your dashboard. You can then select one of the frequently asked questions or ask a new question in the text area provided. 
please note that Leo is still learning and therefore please reach out to support if you have any important questions. First, let's explore the left-hand sidebar. Your profile section will be displayed in the top leftmost section. This section displays your basic information such as your cohort, student ID, school email address, and phone number. To access your profile page, click on the Edit Profile hyperlink. You can then enter information in your profile and make changes as necessary. Below your profile information section, there is a section for your pending attestations. There will be an indicator on the right-hand side displaying how many attestations are pending and need your attention. Schools may use these attestations to have you agree to terms of academic honesty and integrity or other similar statements. To view and agree to these attestations, click on the Complete Profile Attestations hyperlink. The due date for this attestation will be displayed below. Click on the I Agree button if you choose to agree to this statement. Below the Attestation section, you will find the Experiential Progress section. In this section there will be a helpful count of the number of placements you have completed. You can also view the total timesheet hours and patient logs approved by your experiential supervisor or school faculty. Click on the corresponding total approved timesheet hours to navigate to the timesheet tab of the learning activities section. In this section you can view the courses with timesheets active and add new timesheet entries. Click on the total approved patient logs to navigate to the patient log tab of the learning activities section. In this section you can view the courses with patient logs active and add new patient log entries. Navigate back to the dashboard. You can also click on the View All Learning Activities button to navigate to the Forms and Evaluations page of the Learning Activities section. The Learning Activities section shows all forms and evaluations, patient logs, timesheets, and time off learning activities active in your assigned courses. Please watch our Completing Learning Activities tutorial for more information on how to complete learning activities. Below the Experiential Progress section, you'll find the Announcements section. This is where you'll receive important updates from your institution regarding upcoming events, deadlines, and any other critical information related to your coursework. Click the View All hyperlink to view all the school-provided announcements in detail. Click on the Show More hyperlink for an announcement to view the full announcement. Click the View Documents hyperlink to view the documents uploaded by the school pertaining to that announcement. The date in the bottom right-hand corner of the announcement signifies the date the announcement was made available to you by your school. The central part of the dashboard displays your placement information. At the top of this section, you'll see a calendar view that allows you to navigate between your completed, ongoing, and upcoming placements. Your current placements will be selected initially. To navigate to completed placements, click on the left arrow icon. To navigate to future placements click on the right arrow icon. You could also click on the Today hyperlink to center the calendar on the current date. Each bar signifies a placement, with the number displayed signifying the course number of that course. You can click on a bar to navigate to that course. The information displayed in the My Placements section changes depending on whether the placement is completed, ongoing, or upcoming. When you select an upcoming placement, you'll see essential details such as the placement dates, the location and setting where you've been placed, the name of your experiential supervisor, contact information for the location, and the placement faculty associated with you, if any. Under the course name, there will be an upcoming indicator signifying this is an upcoming placement. There will also be an indicator signifying whether your compliance requirements are satisfied. If you see the Not Compliant indicator, this indicates that you have outstanding compliance documents. Please upload your required compliance documents before your placement start date. If you have uploaded your documents but your school has yet to review them, reach out to a contact at your school to review your compliance documents. Under the indicators, your placement start and end dates will be displayed for the placement. Hover over the placement location's name to view the location's address. Click on the View Directions hyperlink to view directions to the location based on the address added to your profile. You will need to add an address to view directions to the location. Click on the View Placement Details hyperlink to navigate to the Placement Details section of the course page. Please watch our Navigating Coursework tutorial for more information on how to navigate the coursework section. The Action Required section lists any pending tasks with respect to the course you are placed in, like course attestations or location requirements which require your action before your placement start date. 
Click on the View Attestations button to navigate to the Placement Details tab of the course page. You can then agree to the attestations added to the course. You can also click on the View Requirements button to upload location requirements in the Placement Details tab of the course page. Below the Action Required section, you can view the experiential supervisors assigned to your placement. Under the supervisor's name you can view the supervisor's role and their phone number and email address. Under this, you can view other information such as the supervisor's supervision percentage and whether you or the school assigned the experiential supervisor to the placement. Regarding ongoing and completed placements, the same compliance indicator is displayed along with the placement dates, location name and placement setting under the course name. You can also click on the View Placement Details button to quickly navigate to the Placement Details tab of the course page. If you have any outstanding course attestations or location requirements you can complete these in the Action Required section. Below the placement information there will be sections for quickly completing learning activities associated with this placement. In the Patient Log section, you can view helpful counts of the total number of logs you have submitted as well as the number of logs approved and the number of logs that have been marked as needs attention by your experiential supervisor or school faculty. Patient logs are marked as needs attention if your experiential supervisor or school faculty deems it necessary for you to review and update the content of a log. To attend to these patient logs that need your attention, click on the View Placement Details hyperlink, then click on the Needs Attention Log count in the Patient Log section. Back on the Student Dashboard, click on the Calendar icon to view the dates you have submitted logs. You can also click on the Add Patient Log button to add a new patient log entry. A window will open for you to submit a patient log. If timesheets are active in the course there will also be a section for timesheets in this ongoing placement. This timesheet section functions similarly to the patient log section. You can view the count of the submitted timesheets time of different statuses, view the dates of submitted entries using the calendar icon, and add a timesheet entry by clicking on the Add Time Entry button. In the Forms and Evaluations section, click on the View All Forms button to enter Course Activities tab of the Ongoing Courses page. The Forms and Evaluations section of this page will display all the forms and evaluations active in this course. Click on a form's name to view the form and fill it out. For more information on how to fill out forms or evaluations, please watch our Completing Learning Activities tutorial. Below the Placement section, you will see the coursework tile that shows you the count of all the course offerings that you have been registered for. Click on the View All Coursework button to view the placement-related courses and didactic courses you have been registered in. For more information on the coursework section please watch our Navigating the Coursework section tutorial. On the upper rightmost side of your dashboard, you will find the Compliance section. Compliance requirements are specific documents or information that your school collects to ensure you are ready for your experiential placements. Staying on top of these requirements is crucial to ensure your eligibility for placements, so be sure to regularly check this section and complete any outstanding tasks. This area shows your progress in meeting compliance requirements, including a completion percentage indicator and a count of the mandatory documents that need your attention. Click on the View All hyperlink to view the full list of compliance requirements, and upload compliance documents as necessary. For more information on how to upload compliance documentation, please watch our Uploading Compliance Documents tutorial. Just below the Compliance section, you'll find your Pre-Placement Tasks section. This area lists the details of the wishlists that have been opened for your registered course offerings as well as published slots where you need to show your interest. Wishlists are our way of collecting your preferences for placement locations. Your school will take these preferences into account when placing you at a location. Please note that wishlists or published slots will only be available if your school has activated wishlists in your courses or published slots for you to indicate your interest in them. Click on the View All button to view all preplacement tasks assigned to you. Each active wishlist will indicate the course the wishlist is active for and the date that the wishlist is due. Click on the Submit Preferences hyperlink to view and fill out the wishlist. For more information on how to submit wishlists, please watch our tutorials on submitting wishlists of each type. To navigate to the different sections of the system, click on the hamburger icon in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. 
Here you can navigate to your profile, your compliance section, the coursework section, learning activity section, the school resources section, the explore clinical locations section, the school contacts section, and your subscriptions page by selecting the corresponding section. On the dashboard banner, you will also find the megaphone icon. Click on the megaphone icon and you will be taken to a page listing all our recent enhancements made to XAT Prism. If you ever need to return to the dashboard quickly, there is an icon for that. Click on the waffle iron in the banner at the top of the page to return to the dashboard. If you prefer our old dashboard layout, toggle the new dashboard bit at the top of the page to revert your dashboard to the old layout. Personalize your experience with XAT Prism by clicking on the drop-down menu next to your name. You can change the color theme to suit your preference and switch between light and dark modes. Additionally, you can manage your password and review the privacy policy and the terms of use. Important announcements from your school will be listed on the left-hand side of the old student dashboard. If you have any outstanding attestations, you can find these at the top of the page, click on the I agree button to agree to one. If you would like to navigate back to the new student dashboard, activate the switch to new bid at the top of the page. Thank you for watching our Navigating the Student Dashboard tutorial. We hope this tutorial helps you navigate your dashboard with ease. Please take the time to check out our other helpful XAT Prism tutorials.